Hey, what's up, Soul family? It's your guy, Sai Soul, man. Hope all is well, man. Hope everybody enjoying themselves in peace and evolving spiritually. Anyways, man, y'all see I'm still out here at that Camp Atwater in North Brookfield, Massachusetts. It's a beautiful place, a beautiful environment. I really came to talk to y'all because a couple days ago, I got a little day off, so I was able to go back in town. Excuse me. I was able to go back to town in Springfield. And man, one part of me was happy to just be back home, but then there was that other part of me that after a while, one part I was happy to be back home so I could go check in in the morning workouts with the football team. That that definitely felt good to do. But um, other than that, man, just being back in that city environment, man, after so much peace, was definitely rough adjusting to. The noise of it all, it was definitely rough adjusting to. Because I'm telling you what, man, I'm falling in love with this rural suburbia area and environment. It's just the peace of it, the overall, the overall peace of it, man. Everything about it. I love it up here, man. I had mixed feelings actually about returning back to the urban corridor because there's so much peace out here. Just being by water, hearing water so much, hearing the trees, seeing different animals. It's just beautiful, man. Letting the sun hit us because, you know, as we all know, the sun being the center of the earth is the soul of the universe. And our soul exists in the center of our being. So when we stand out in the sun, we come, we connect and become one with the sun. But as I was saying, man, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful being out here in a place like this. so much peace I find so much love and I'm all by myself right now just walking through vibing out with the nature it's love out here man sometimes in the city there's so much tension that it's hard to really enjoy being outside. I mean, you still navigate and find ways to have peace, but still in all, being out here, being out here, it's definitely a beautiful experience, man. I understand why people that grow up in these areas just love staying out here. I'm not gonna lie, man. I used to honestly wonder how people could even live in these type of environments. I honestly did. I just did not understand how it could be possible. But now, I realize because there's so much peace, there's so much connectedness between the residents and the nature and then between the residents and each other. It's beautiful. To see what I got behind me. I love this country. Love it out here, man. As I said, I'm having mixed feelings about going back home. But eventually I have to. So I'm just gonna embrace and enjoy this. Enjoy this experience and enjoy this time. It's nothing like hearing the breeze. It's nothing like just, just 
really just feeling the fresh air. I can't even explain. It gives me so like so amazed. I can't help but just be thrilled about it. Hear that, man? Every once in a while, you got to get out the way. Be an oncoming car, just like there is now. But it's all good because it's peaceful out here. As I was saying, when I went back home, man, it was just so much car noises, people, like, loud talking, just... Just a lot of just the tension felt thick in the air. Yeah, the tension felt thick in the air, man. See how we got the horses, man? Can y'all see them? See, we got horses back here. They vibing out, man. Got a lot of horses, man. Got a lot of animals. It's beautiful, man. It's so uplifting being out here. It's so uplifting. Being out here is so uplifting. I'm manifesting so much out here. It's like I'm not even necessarily attached to outcomes or even forcefully predicting what it is I'm actually manifesting. But just by me having my body out here and doing all the practices, all of the meditating by the water, all of the um, affirmations, um... All of the um, the barefoot walks, being grounded and immersed in the nature, it's all paying off. It's all paying off. It's going to pay huge dividends. It's going to pay huge dividends. But yeah, as I was saying, man, and see what we got here, man. Look what we got here, man. We got a swing. I never seen nothing like this. I never seen nothing like this. I'ma sit on it for a second. See, I'm swinging on it, man. This is the beauty of being out here in the great outdoors, man. You never know what you're gonna run into. Smile. Find a reason to be happy, man. And if you can't get into a rural area like this, this is what I suggest. Go to the park, find a park, find some woods, just walk through it. Become one, become one with the nature. Love yourself, peace. Make sure y'all drinking a lot of water too, man. Drink a lot of water. We in cancer season. It's hot anyway, so no matter whether the season we in, but we in cancer season. Cancer is definitely a water sign. It's to, it represents the crab. So get a lot of your water in. Get a lot of your fluids in. It's all connected. It's all connected to spiritual growth anyhow. So drink up. Drink your water. Please. Please. But I'm going to get up out of here though, man. I don't want to stay too long. Got the male lady coming. It's all good. Right now I'm just chilling. About to walk back down to the camping area. But anyway, I just want to definitely give y'all a piece of what I've been thinking about. Cause I definitely have been thinking.
about wanting to live in a place like this at some point. You know, it's very encouraging. It's definitely very encouraging being out here, man. It's very thought provoking for the better. For the better. I just want to say, Soul Family, I love all y'all. Always, man. Y'all encouraging words is what keeps me going. And, um, respects to the lady that, um, from East Brookfield, around the way out here, who showed my last video some love, man. I definitely appreciate you. And I'm loving this area out here. It's amazing. I definitely understand how you all love it out here. Actually, also too, we actually was able to see the fireworks too yesterday. Me and a couple of the guys, we was outside on the hill, man. We was watching the fireworks, man, from a yard over it was good man it was definitely beautiful you know but man i love it out here man this is this is, has done so much for my life and my own personal growth it's amazing it's definitely amazing loving the experience it's a vibrant experience but we gonna live it to the fullest man we gonna live it to the fullest y'all hope all of y'all out there is encouraged man and pushing forward Pushing forward, being happy, spreading your wings, and flying. Don't let negativity get you down. Don't let people on the outside discourage you with their opinions or their viewpoints on your life and what you should be. You got to follow your own soul's guidance. Ultimately, that's what's going to keep you happy. following your soul's guidance you can take advice you can take heed from other people but at the same time if it goes against what your soul is telling you what's internally right then it's not going to make you happy in the end that's even what i'm saying that doesn't matter who it is so love yourself always connect inside speak to yourself so that way you become more understanding and grounded in your decision making but as I was saying man I love this country life I fell in love I could see myself relocating out here man I still will put in my work though where I'm from in the city in Springfield because you know I love my guys, I love my people there, man. I know it's still work to be done, but at some point in life, man, I'm definitely going to consider coming out to one of these type of environments, man. Who knows, man, I have my own farm. <laughs> I never even thought about nothing like that, man, but life changes. It's life levels, like I've said in a poem years ago, life levels then more life levels. So, hope you all enjoyed this time with me. I'm about to get up out of here, man. About to go up in the lodge, man. Chill for a second. But peace, love to all, okay, man? Love, side soul, man. Take care, man. Stay humble, but stay ambitious and focused. Peace.